Are you a startup and you need an ongoing letter of credit from your bank and it's challenging to get the financing you need on a transaction on an ongoing basis? You've got to watch this video. I'm going to share with you how to fix that problem really quickly. Hi, I'm Tamer Samuel from LanaCredit.ai, my organization is a world-class leader and providing lots of credit around the world to multiple different jurisdictions, to various corporations of all sizes, startups, large corporations, mid-sized companies that add, we are industry agnostic. We also have companies monetize various banking instruments, that matter spread, document spread, MTNs, uh, CDs, uh, as well as IBOEs, believe it or not. The third thing we do is help companies participate in safe private placement programs that actually pay money and are reliable and are authentically real. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the story of John Smith. Uh, John Smith is a fictional character and uh, he is an actual case study that my company is going through right now with a client. Uh, the company is a startup, so it's a John Smith is a startup, and he wanted to get into the PPE business. Uh, this is providing masks, uh, gloves, and so on. He started to see an opportunity for himself uh, when the coronavirus hit to provide some masks and gloves to uh, clients that he has a relationship with. The client has provided him a letter of credit uh, from a well, you know, a really good institution, a let act. His challenge is how does he monetize that letter of credit and get the cash he needs to uh, to fund his supply chain. The promise, uh, sorry, the problem with uh, startups is that when you go to bridge financing, uh, these bridge financiers are generally speaking don't want to touch a startup. So what does John Smith do? Well, with line of credit, what we enabled for him to do was to put his letter of credit with a custodian. Uh, this is a program that runs by insurance company. And the insurance company using a custodian takes ownership of the letter of credit and gives John Smith 60% of the face value of the letter of credit every month for 48 to 72 months. So let me give you some numbers around this so this uh, so you can wrap your head around it. Let's assume the letter of credit is $100 million. In, this, in my case, it's not $100 million, but let's assume it was. The uh, program that we're offering through an insurance company slash a custodian offers John Smith 60% of the face value of the letter of credit every month. So that means that $100 million, John Smith gets $60 million for 48 to 72 months. Now what's John's alternative options? He can go keep on knocking on bridge financing, venture capital firms, private equity firms, hedge funds to see who's willing to give him some kind of a discount on the letter of credit he's got or he can use the insurance slash custodian program and now he's making instead of saying a hundred million dollar instrument or sorry a letter of credit and getting the discount of let's say 80 million or 90 million or 50 million whatever he can get instead he can make 60 million dollars for 48 months or 72 months now, how much he gets is a function, as always, 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 is a function of the uh, issuer, the letter of credit. There's lots of technicalities around that uh, that I'm happy to help you with. But that's a case study. It's a startup case study that I'm really proud of to provide a particular program for a client that they simply can't get in else. You know, one of the things I love about, truly I love about line credit AI and our team is really what our promise is, a bold promise we put on our website. Provide far more capital to clients than traditional banks or brokers can provide. And when it comes to brokers, what I don't talk about is what I mean is joker brokers. <laughs> My name is Samer Salmon. I hope you found this uh, helpful. Uh, just as a note of disclaimer, we're not uh, a law firm, so I will never give you legal advice. We're not financial advisors, so I will never give you financial advice. Uh, or we're not accountants, so I will never give you accounting advice. The content I share is strictly for educational 
and entertainment purposes. And um, I hope you find it valuable. Thank you so much, and I look forward to your option work with you. recording this go ahead run excel one more time tamor i made more money with you in the last one year than i did with the last 22 years of my life wow. <laughs> all right <laughs> Thank you. um just we're just really thankful uh to even just come across the line of credit.ai um and tamor thank you for uh uh giving us ideas as far as what we need to do uh, uh to uh get our business acquisitions off the ground um the route that we need to take in negotiating uh that way we can uh uh, hit the ground running. So we definitely appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. Well, yeah, no. do you yeah, see no. a pathway for making money that you didn't see before the call? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, and again, I, I mimic uh, Chinese answer to, to be able to uh, spend this time with you. Uh, and um, it's like we were a movie, movie star, but it, at the same time to, to, to be able to sort through this, like, like hear us say it, but then you can kind of pick stuff out of it by certain things that we said and, 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 uh, and then source money that we wasn't even thinking about or a solution. And now we can go back to the seller and, and pull money or, or, or let them see it in a way that's really uh, someone who might be risk adverse and then say, no, this is actually something good. And then uh, we can try that and then come back and then um, actually build a, a long-term relationship with you and actually help others. So uh, we're very excited with this and working with you and uh, the Rich Uncle um, platform and uh, exploring some other financial vehicles as you talk about in your uh, video. So this is gonna be exciting. Okay, Thank so you. Richard, who are you? And what have you got out of uh, working with me uh, either on this call or on the materials I provided? My name is Richard Kane and I'm working on raising capital for projects uh, throughout Africa, uh, humanitarian infrastructure uh, projects and some renewable energy projects. Um, so I was just recently introduced to the concept of private placement programs and I'm far from being an expert. So uh, thanks to Tamar, um, I've been guided along that path and I now understand the process much better. Um, thanks for that. Uh, and also, I'm, I'm now familiar with the different routes I can take in moving forward and also the work I have to do uh, before I can move forward. So I'm really grateful uh, for the time you've spent with me and guiding me in this way. And um, hopefully uh, we'll speak again soon. Thank you. Awesome.